Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so today's episode is going to be about how narcissists or toxic people study you. I've had different conversations with people who have expressed this same thing. And let me tell you, the stories be wild, wild, like I couldn't even make it up or let alone imagine it. So for this, these people to experience this shit, as well as my own experiences, like, <laughs> yo, okay. Anyways, so my name is Shay. Hey, how you doing? If this is your first time watching my video, I do talk about uh, narcissism a lot because, you know, I have a narcissistic mother. And on top of that, I just discuss dysfunctional, toxic, bad behaviors and how we as a community can handle these types of people. And also to give validation to those who are going through this. Because there was a time in my life where I felt like I was the only one dealing with an abusive, toxic, dysfunctional person in my life. And because that was my everyday normal I didn't really know what a healthy normal was like until I became an adult on my own, doing my own thing, fixing and working on myself. I am a spiritual healer. And so as I heal myself through we and my YouTube channel, uh, it's like therapy for me, but it's also self-soothing to not just myself, but to others who listen to me who actually feel validated and they want to share their experience with me as well. So thank you. So please feel free to comment down below and share your experience based on the video and everything like that. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff too. So let's jump into this. Narcs and toxic people study you. Now, this shit be crazy, y'all. This is where the psychopaths and sociopaths come in. Like, you will have... Okay, let's say you go to your local grocery store every day on a tuesday right every day on a tuesday for the last several months you've been going to this same grocery store let's say the store is tom thumbs right and you go you got your shopping list or whatever you go in there you're getting what you get and you and you're leaving right well after a while there are people who watch you and who observe you to the point that they learn your name you know, they know what kind of car you drive. And at some point, you don't know if this motherfucker might have followed you home and been watching you at your home to know your work schedule, your routine of like, when you go to work, when do you do? Obviously, these people sometimes have no fucking lives. They don't. Sometimes they don't. So, seriously, um, this is why I am aware of my surroundings. Um... You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know at one point I was paranoid um, and it was so bad. Well, uh, paranoid, but I would have a quick or easy startle response. But these were just because my nervous system was on edge for years, for at least 25 years. So it wasn't until 2017 for me when I moved far away from my toxic, dysfunctional family and shit like that, and I just started a whole new life from scratch. New friends, new environment, new job, new... Everything in my life was new. It was a little scary, but I made it through because at the end of the day, I'm never alone. The universe is always on my side. Divine powers are always working for me. Anybody that wants to fuck with me, you're fucking with a spiritual team. And trust me, you fuck around and you fuck with me or you make me cry or you do something wrong, my spiritual team is going to be on your ass. On your ass. Yes, I said it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So let me, I need to start making that a disclaimer because it wouldn't surprise me if my narcissistic mom or toxic people that I didn't been blocking, um are finding my channel or seeing my face or just like oh i know her oh she's talking about me yeah and what the hell are you gonna do about it what you gonna do about it narc toxic person fuck you okay that was for the toxic people not my lovely viewers who are actually absorbing the information okay that wasn't for y'all that was for the narky narcs because we know that the internet is their playground. They love to troll and play games and be on bullshit. Anyways, they study you. These people 
some of them are so fucking crazy that they will study and watch you for months before they ever approach you. And then when they approach you, you might be noticing them for the first time. So you're just like, I've never seen this person before or whatever. You might not have seen them before because you weren't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Or you might have seen them out and about somewhere, but you don't see them often to recognize their face like that. Unless you're really good at remembering faces on sight the first damn time. I don't know about y'all, but I'm good at recognizing voices. I would recognize a voice before I recognize the face. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when it comes to my hearing, oh, that that is on point. Which would make sense because I'm clear audience. It makes total sense why I would recognize a voice before I would a face. Hell, I don't even remember names. I remember faces before I remember names. That's just me. I be feeling bad sometimes, but whatever. I meet so many damn people in my life. People come and go, shit, <laughs> whatever. Um. So, anyways, they literally study you. They study your facial expressions, your micro expressions, your body language. They study your tone of voice. They study your environment, how you react to people, places, and things in your environment. Um, they like to test you, you know what I'm saying? Um, things of this nature, like, it's like, it's like the narcissist is a parent and you are their child at the playground. And they're aware that you're there on the slide, the monkey bars, playing with the other. Ch they, they recognize the other children around. They recognize the other parents around. You know what I'm saying? They may even dis get briefly distracted by having conversations with other people. But you are always on their radar. They are always keeping that eye on you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, even when... uh. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples of my personal life. I'm going to put y'all in my business, y'all. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Don't mind me. Um, so, I'm going to put y'all in my in my personal experience, basically. And that's generally, what, that's generally why I said my channel is Live Life. Because it's me living life and just experiencing these types of people. I never would have guessed that these types of people exist. But they do. They do. And it's just like, oh, my God. You take pleasure in torturing people. You take pleasure in other people's misfortune. You take pleasure in destroying other people's lives. You take pleasure in this. Wow, you're the real, these people are the real life boogeyman's, boogeyman, lady and gentlemen. I can't talk right now. I think I need to eat and just lay my butt down, but I had to make these videos, y'all. I had to make these videos. I didn't win a week. I was under the weather and all of this. I miss talking to y'all. You know, I'm look, when these ideas come, I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. So, anyways, right? Um, they study you. I mean, it's crazy. They 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 study who your family is, they study who your friends are. It wouldn't even surprise me that they didn't probably been verified your ass. Um, in case you didn't know what been verified is, it's a website where you can go look up a person's name and verify who they are. You can find out criminal criminal records, their background, foreclosure, money. You can find out a whole bunch of stuff, right? So who knows if these people haven't already looked you up and have done their research and this is why i don't really like social media or I, or I haven't been on social media like that is because you know what i'm saying i mean i ain't got nothing to hide but the the point is you know you can you can get a lot of information off of a phone number you can google that phone number person's name pop up find some stuff you know what i'm saying old addresses you could Google their name and you know what I'm saying? It's kind of scary, you guys. It's kind of scary. But hey, I'm looking at it like this. You pop up at my address, you're gonna be looking in the gun. Bang, bang. Texas style. 
Like, I'm not playing no games with nobody. Like, period. I don't care who you think you are to me, friends, family, coworker, whoever. I don't care who you think you are. You come to me threatening me like that's just gonna be your ass like my cousin that i kicked out he's lucky i didn't have pepper spray at the time because i would have pepper sprayed his bitch ass i i i would have and watched his ass cry and get mad and all that shit because i mean he must have really forgot who the fuck he fucking with like if you don't remember i can undo your amnesia bop you on the head one good time now see in his mind he thinking oh you up there playing tough i ain't playing tough when life gets serious, like, like, nigga, I will take a lemon and squirt that shit in your eye. Like, <laughs> I make it humorous and funny, you know what I'm saying? But on some real shit, I will always 100% protect my vessel at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Because that narcissist or that toxic person is going to protect their self at all costs. So why would I sacrifice myself? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no, no. But anyways y'all for real like these people they will watch you you know what i'm saying like my mom she made a fake fake book uh a fake facebook profile sorry my mind is just uh, i gotta slow it down she made a fake profile on facebook using my brother's name to watch what i got going on in my life right and of course back then i wasn't quite where i am now i was saying some wild ass shit on facebook like seriously facebook should have never been created because everybody don't need to know what the fuck is on your mind like for real <laughs> for real let's be honest i've unfriended so many females because i'm scrolling down my timeline i'm horny who's gonna eat my pussy i don't want to see that shit and i don't want to see your naked ass or your titties on my on, on as a profile picture on my page either i don't want to see that so i unfriended all these ladies you know what i'm saying and then they'll refriend me back or hit me up. why'd you unfriend me because the energy you know what i'm saying birds of a feather flock together if i got naked bitches on my page what message does that send out to somebody who's trying to look through my friends list they're gonna think i'm on some whole shit too no I know them, but I ain't in their business. They they pussy ain't my business. They ass ain't my business. They titties ain't my business. Your dick and balls is not my business. Okay? I can only worry about me and my business. And why are you trying to be in my business? <laughs> that, that's for all the nosy motherfuckers. Because we all know toxic and narcissistic people be nosy than a motherfucker. We know this, don't we? Don't we? They want to know where you work. They want to know where you shop and go get your food, where you shop and go get your clothes, where you went to go get your car, how 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 much. Look, let me tell you. This is what I mean by narcissist study, right? So, um I my my recent ex or whatever, I remember he got to asking me, "Well, how much is your rent? How much is your car note?" In my mind, you about to pay some bills over here. You about to pay some bills, Mr. Mr. Bill Man. You about to give me some money. You about to pay these bills. What, you, what why why are you all up in my coins? Why you wanna know how much I pay in my bills? Okay? But my stupid ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, self. You are not stupid. You are very smart. You are highly intelligent. Be careful of what you say. Don't even say, don't joke with yourself like that because your body and your subconscious mind doesn't realize that it's a joke. So that's why I had to rebuke that, what I just, that statement. I had to take it back. I'm very smart. I'm intelligent and I love you self. You know what I'm saying? So always speak highly and good to yourself. Always, always, always. But what I'm trying to say is, I wasn't thinking and I just was like, oh, you know, I answered the questions or whatever, but you ain't tried to give me a penny. So I'm like, well, what was the point of asking? I mean, generally you would ask if you plan on paying something. I mean, I would think, you know what I'm saying? No, you're asking me because you're counting my coins. 
oh, well, she can afford this or she can afford that. Okay, well, if you can't afford it, then I think you need to get a second job. I think you need to change up careers and elevate and upgrade, but not everybody's elevator goes to the top. It's, it's just facts. When you ding, when you ring the doorbell, ding dong, nobody comes to the door because ain't nobody home. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I, I can't, I, I, I can't, don't take me serious, y'all. I, I be laughing because for real, like a lot of these people just be like airheads. They think they so smart and they're just so stupid. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so what I mean by studying you is like, you know, my mom studying, she basically during the time that I was not in contact with her, she was using a fake page to watch my healing process, right? Because obviously not talking to her anymore and being around her and allowing her in my energy, it allowed me to begin my healing process, right? So she's seeing the progress of my healing and that is the biggest thing that a narcissist or a toxic person hates is that you're healing and that you're doing better so what do they do they try to come back into your life any possible way they can you know what i'm saying and they've been studying you they've been following you and watching you but see my thing is i ain't got time to be paranoid and well let me shut down my face i mean if i truly want to I could shut down all my social media, but I use my social media to gain knowledge um, on a lot of other things, you know? So I do like my social media, but I also had to discipline myself not to be all on there, wild, talking, crazy. Woo, the thing, the, y'all know how Facebook do that memory shit? That shit is annoying. Look, Facebook, I didn't broke up with that narcissistic fuck face. Why are you bringing up memories? Why are you showing me this shit? I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, y'all, that is a narcissist. Mark Zuckerberg has to be a narcissist, y'all, because why the fuck would you create memories? And then what's funny is you don't bring up memories on everyday shit that was said. You bring up memories about certain things. And to me, that is like a psychological hoover to try to remind somebody about a motherfucker that they don't deal with no more. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, personally, something wrong with Zuckerberg. Have y'all ever looked at him and really looked in his face? He looks like an alien or something. I don't know. He looks weird. Anyways, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I, I say what the hell I want to say. So, uh, I mean, I get pissed off at the fact that sometimes I be trying to make these videos and they be shutting my camera off on my phone and shit. Fucking Pegasus. Go Google what Pegasus is. Them the motherfuckers that be monitoring your phone and shit. I don't give a fuck. I say what I want. Tell me something. You ain't gonna tell me shit because you've been watching me since I was fucking out the coochie. Anyways. So... And if that ain't true, for real, y'all, like the FBI been watching a lot of us since we popped out of our mama's coochies, okay? But that's another video. Anyways, so for real, like don't be surprised. When someone approaches you, be cautious. It is okay to be cautious. Don't ever let nobody think, uh, like for example, uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you just met somebody. It doesn't matter if they're a co-worker, somebody at the grocery store, gas station, whatever. Somebody, somewhere that you frequent, right? And they do something nice for you. And then you question their motive. And they're like, how dare you question my motive? I'm out here trying to be nice to you. And, and da, 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 da. that right there is a red flag. Because you have the right to question people's motives. You have that right. These people have not gained your trust like that. Me personally, I'm an open fucking book. I mean, not 100% open, but obviously I have my YouTube channel. So anybody that comes across my YouTube channel, I'm an open book. And anybody that's on my YouTube channel, I would hope that you've been drawn to this channel because your soul resonates with the stuff that I talk about. You know, I talk about real shit and, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, like, straight up, these people, 
it wouldn't surprise me that uh my mama didn't came across my stuff it wouldn't surprise me that some toxic relative or some <laughs> it won't surprise me and i i don't care like i'm past the point of caring because you know what i care about i care about me i care about myself that's the reason why i you know you know what i'm gonna make a self-care video because i be trying to stay on topic 100 percent, and then i'd be taking all these little like for real y'all it's like driving a car we we going straight to me but understand no matter how many left turns i take how many U-turns I might bust because we passed that we 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 passed the road we supposed to be on. We gonna get to the end. We gonna get to the destination. Okay, just follow with me. That's all. And if you are air sign, cause I'm a Libra, then you can understand where my mind is. is I do kind of be all over the place. But again, even if I'm all over the place, jumping here to here to here to there to this to this and that, understand? It'd be like that coloring book where you got all them goddamn dots. And the dots look crazy as hell because they all over the place. But when you connect all the dots in number order, it makes a picture. That's how my mind works. That's how I operate. We're going to get to the destination and you'll see the bigger picture. Okay? All right. But for real. So just understand, you have the right to question people's motives. You do. And if anybody tells you otherwise, you should... Give them that eye. Give them that eye. Like, mm, I, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I got my eye on you. I really wish I had a magnifying glass because I could get so so animated, y'all. I'd be like, like you know how the uh, the, the uh, magnifying glass it makes your eye like super big, and you'd be like, <laughs> for real, y'all. I'm gonna get more equipment and stuff like that. But anyways, like, share, subscribe. Feel free to comment below on your experience, you know, stuff like this. Me personally, I have experienced people who have kept tabs on me for a certain amount of time before ever approaching me. I think that's very creepy. It's very weird because it's like, what? You know, that's just like when I started working my job at that I'm my, working my job that I'm at now. I remember this one guy, hey, don't you drive this kind of car? Hmm? Who the fuck are you? And why are you asking me about the kind of car I drive? Like, why does that concern you? I mean, maybe it was to make conversation, I guess. But that's on some stalky shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Because why are you asking me what kind of car I drive and all of this? Like, that's just weird to me. It's just certain things that people say that are weird. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll come back to you with another video. Bye-bye.